Hello and welcome to my Great British Grub playlist. Now today I'm doing a Scottish dish called Rumbledy Thumps. Yes, you heard right, Rumbledy Thumps. Now I'll explain a bit more about the dish uh, later on, but uh, for the time being I am going to put about 60 grams of butter into a frying pan and let it melt down. And I'm going to add one large onion sliced up. Now I'm using butter instead of uh, vegetable oil uh, in this case and it's well worth it because it gives this dish so much flavour. And then I'm adding half a head of cabbage, uh, finely shredded. Now I'm using Savoy cabbage but you can use any white cabbage, it doesn't really matter. Just mix it all in, and the idea is to let this all wilt down until it's uh, until it's quite soft, um, but not coloured. Going to add uh, a good amount of salt, a good pinch of salt, and plenty of freshly ground black pepper. Now, every time I cook with cabbage, I always use a lot of black pepper because I just feel it brings out the uh, flavour of the cabbage more. Give it a good mix in and, as I say, let it uh, wilt down um, and it'll take a while. I'm actually speeding things up by sticking a lid on. Uh, it'll help it wilt a bit quicker. And just check it every every few minutes to see how it's getting on. So, rumbledy thumbs. Yes, uh, I've absolutely no idea where this name comes from, uh, but it's rather cute. Um, this dish could be used as a main dish. Uh, it's essentially vegetarian uh, in this case, but uh, you could add uh, leftover uh, meat, cooked meat. It's in a sense, it's like the Irish call cannon and a bit like the English bubble and squeak, uh, as you will see. But it's put in the oven, it's cooked in the oven. So, after about uh, 15 to 20 minutes, uh, it's uh, wilted down quite nicely. There's still one or two tough bits there. Uh, from the cabbage, so uh, I will uh, cook it a little bit longer uh, and we should be done. After about 20 to 25 minutes, we're done. It's nicely wilted down and it's time to put it to one side for the time being. So, earlier I boiled uh, some potatoes, about uh, six uh, medium potatoes. And so it's time to mash them up. Now, I'm not looking for a perfect mash here. In fact, I quite wanted to be a fairly rough mash. Uh, so, so there's some, maybe some larger pieces of potato still left uh, because it is a bit of a, 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 a dish with a lot of texture to it. And to that, I am going to add our cabbage and onion mixture. Okay, now give it a good mix. Uh, now this could be where the Rumbledy Thumps name comes from, the actual beating of the, uh, the vegetables together. Anyway, I am adding a small amount of grated cheese to the mix, and again, just uh, Rumbledy Thump it in. <laughs> just mix it into the, uh, to the vegetables. Then I get uh, an oven-proof dish. And pour the, uh, the mixture into it, spread it out. Now I'm not looking for perfection here, it's nice to leave it quite rough and uneven. And then spread it with uh, the rest of the cheese. And it goes into an oven at 200 degrees Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit for around about 20 minutes or so. And when it comes out, it looks like this. Now this is perfect for a midweek uh, dinner. Uh, it can be used as a side dish as it is, or if you add some of your leftover meat from your Sunday roast, uh, it can be a main meal in its own right. But it's absolutely delicious. That butter and the black pepper make it a delight. So, if you did like this video, please uh, consider subscribing. If you do, please hit that notification bell and you will be notified of any videos that I upload in future. So take care, peace, love, and I'll see you all soon.